WVTM 13's John Papke was the only reporter from Birmingham to sit down with Rose, asking him about the honor and the actions that earned him the medal. This White House ceremony was 47 years and 39 days in the making. Huntsville's Mike Rose is the United States' newest Congressional Medal of Honor recipient. Your love for your fellow soldier, your devotion to your country inspires us all. The medal rewards Rose for his courage during a top-secret mission in Laos in 1970. Serving as a medic during Operation Tailwind, Rose is credited with saving dozens of lives while suffering crippling shrapnel injuries of his own. It was a busy weekend for Captain Rose leading up to today's Medal of Honor ceremony here at the White House. On Friday, he was reunited with the commander of his unit who vouched for his heroism nearly five decades after he helped so many men make it home. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Eugene McCarley commanded the Special Forces mission. Despite facing four days of fierce fighting, every American made it home. Mike was one of the ones that received three Purple Hearts on the operation. It was miraculous that we did not lose more, more KIAs. Rose tells us he was simply doing his job. But if I had not done that, consciously not done that, I would have failed myself my fellows in my unit, I would have failed the Army. On the last day of the battle, Rose was thrown from a crashing helicopter, but he did not hesitate to crawl back to the burning aircraft to pull the wounded from the wreckage. So despite everything that you faced and the actions that you carried out, you don't consider yourself a hero? No, sir. The, the heroes are listed on that wall. Those 58,000, those are the real heroes. More than 800 Special Forces soldiers died on missions like his fighting in Vietnam. Rose said today's medal is for them. And they fought hard, and unfortunately, a lot of them didn't come home. And this is a way to honor all their memories. It's and salute a 22-year-old medic who risked his own life to save so many others. In Washington, D.C., John Papke, WVTM 13.